remember a conversation that we had with our Department of Human Resources when I was working in the state of Maryland where we were trying to produce a bunch of maps um, that we could um, use to see whether or not we were um, uh, distributing our resources appropriately. And one of the maps I wanted to see was a a map of all the foster homes in the state. And then I wanted to overlay on that map a layer of where all of our registered sex offenders had their registered addresses and our most violent offenders where they had their um, registered addresses. And I wanted to make sure that um, our most vulnerable children weren't sharing their addresses with some of our most dangerous offenders. And it seemed like a very kind of intuitive thing, but it was groundbreaking for us in Maryland. We started seeing that we um, were not doing a great job um, at protecting all of our most vulnerable kids' families and that um, there, were, there was some overlap and that we um, immediately were able to take action and send out uh, multi-agency, um, uh, dispatch multi-agency resources into the homes to do safety assessments, make sure those families and kids were safe. But those were the types of things, those were those moments where you realize how powerful the data was, how, how the data really was the thing that was going to not only um, help you solve your problem, but offer up what it is that you needed to do in order to cure that problem. Whether or not it's scalable, I don't think it's a matter of if a government should do this. I think it's a matter of when will the government do this. I think that there's a lot of things that are signaling this era of data-driven government and, and the inevitability that we must use data to be more agile and to inform better decisions at the government level. We're coming out of one of the worst economic downturns that the country has seen since the Great Depression. We had an, a whole new customer at the government level. And I think that it, it became very evident that we needed to serve um, citizens better. And the only way to do that is to understand how it is that we're serving citizens, what data we're using, how it is that we're unpacking those problems. And the only way that we were able to do that, I know in Maryland, was to track it through this mechanism. And I talked to many other governments that found the same thing.